Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at Haze 2 from Clev Grand the Producto and Clev Grande. Clev Grand. Um, yeah, so there is a Haze 1, and if you already own Haze 1, you just need to uh, hang on because there's uh, uh, going to be a, a, like a Haze upgrade bundle available for a reduced price. So if you've got it, you'll be able to get Haze two as well sort of thing uh, and at the moment it's on sale and it's 9.99 and it's 33 percent off haze is a 16 but i'm leading from the actual thing now so haze 16 band stereo widening tool that utilizes three different methods of controlling the stereo width and spatial positions of an audio stream so like haze one it like widens your audio but it's a subtle effect it's not in your face you know, so it's important for mixes and things like that. It's not a creative effect, okay? So, so it has a H A H A A S has and add that adds a, a small delay to the left or right audio channel, which will make the listener believe the sound arrives from the side that's reaching the ear first. And then you have pan, which alters the gain level on one of the audio channels. Here, here it is here. And then you have uh, MS Stereo, which controls the output stereo with each uh, output stereo width of each band from normal to stereo. So, okay, what's new from the original version? It has uh, more transparent crossover filters, better control for each band. Split EQ now called Pan and provides much more control over. Um, MS Stereo, uh, which is a new feature in version 2 Gain, which is a new feature in version 2 Fe Visualization, which is a new feature in version 2 Brand new and more intuitive user interface And several factory presets Which we are going to mess around with now in this demo So, let me just get rid of this Which I was reading from It's in my way Okay, so at the moment, I'm going to run this in two things. I've got a, a mix set up in Nano Studio with it going onto some drums and stuff. And then here I have my guitar plugged into um, channel 2 here. I'm using the Steinberg UL44 audio interface. So it's going into USB channel 2, the guitar. And my voice is going into this channel here, channel 1. So we're going to hear with so at the moment this preset that will come on is called gentle voice and I will engage it now so you can hear the kind of nice effect it gives to your vocal. So like I said it's not like a massive in your face effect but it is nice for a mix. So this sounds really warm and you can actually if you're if you're DJing um this would sound nice, you know, or you want to bring out the vocal a little bit either side of the mix that's nice as well. And you can, of course, start to make adjustments to the actual has settings. Uh, you can hear what the, the difference is going to start making as it as it comes through. And then we can go into our things. And there's backing vocals here. Let's go on to backing vocals. I won't do any backing vocals. And then backing vocals too, you see. So you, it's lovely. It's, it's lovely on voice. And it's a lovely effect anyway. It's very warm and soothing, I think. So that would be, and then you have like positioning, so you could go like a natural width, like that. So it goes nice and wide. Yeah, natural width. Anyway, enough of hearing it on the voice. Okay, so we'll take it off voice, and then you can hear the difference it makes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, I shall pick up my guitar. Now, I haven't got any other effects at all. <coughs> Excuse me. Running on the guitar. It's just literally nothing at all. It's just clean. <laughs> So this preset that I am going to engage is electric guitar one. And then we can go with electric guitar two.
electric guitar three. And then you have a couple of acoustic guitar ones. And then some settings for other instruments. Right, okay, let's put that down. So you get the idea there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we can uh, take that off there. We can close that down. Right, okay, so what we can go over now is go over to a Nano Studio. Bing, where I started this mix. Uh, well, I said this is in last night's live stream, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, what what it is is there is some. Let me just close that up so you can see. This is the whole thing, and I've started to apply some of the Hass effect here to the drums. Now it's nice on drums, you know what I mean, because you without you don't you, you don't kind of want your drums to sound like they're like one drummer one side of the stage and another drummer the other. But it, it is nice to like have them kind of in the in the field of of listening if you know what i mean so you can kind of get an idea that the drums sound like without overpowering the entire mix so if we go into our thing here and open our effects channel you can see i have drum bus one and there's the the, the, the pan effect there and then the, there's the ms and then there's the gain pan, yes. and you can kind of see what's going on with the other things so you can See that there, there's the the, the 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 gain settings or the you can kind of see what's going on in the background with the other the, the other settings. Okay, so like I said, this is uh, on drum bus one, and I, I'm going to disengage the Hass effect. But first of all, what I shall do is also I shall solo. So it's bypassed now. I shall solo this this uh, these drums. Right. Okay. So I just want to watch, watch me volume in because these can be quite loud. Like, so let's go. Let's go. To, uh, I'm sorry. No, it's me. Not me. Drums at all. Is it? This is right. So there's the eight oh eight. I'm gonna close them. I'm gonna close the microphone because they're collecting the uh, recycling. Hang on.
So you can hear that it is making a, 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 a real subtle but interesting difference to the drums. I think it is anyway. But, but then again, I liked the first one. Okay. So you can see that this is called natural left. So it's kind of favoring the, the left side. And we can do the same for the other side. And then we have stereo width, so natural width. It's very, it's very nice. So say for instance I leave it on that particular setting girl, like that. But we'll what we'll do is we'll take it out of the actual we'll bypass it for now. Okay? And I will engage the rest of the mix. You can hear how it <clears throat> opens up the kit, but not in a, Whoa, what's that going on there? It sounds like the drum kit's coming in from the other side of it. Not like that. It doesn't work like that. It works in a subtle fashion to, to kind of, it's almost fooling you into thinking, wow, this sounds really nice, you know, really open. It's for making things sound like open, open spaces. Like, for instance, we could try it on, on like, uh, let's go to another part of this track. Um, Say... I don't know. Let's see what's going on here. Um. These here, these there's some strings. Um, I think they're these. Well, they sound really nice, but it would be nice if they sounded wider. Quite That's made them them strings like stand out in the mix, but not like going to go, without having to do any EQing on them or anything like that as well. Guys, there you go. There it is. Uh, the, is the, <coughs> the Has 2 stereo tool. Where are we going here? Has 2, where did you get your pan, your MS, your gain? Um, well, this is, I think, the things just goes back to your thingies, your presets. 
it's very cool it's very good if you like need something like this or if you liked the first one you'll probably like this one better like i said <coughs> it is a rewrite so it is a new app it's not like a, an upgrade or anything like that however clev grand are um just working on an upgrade so if you've got like a, an upgrade bundle so if you've already got has one uh, Hayes, sorry, Hayes won the first one, then you'll be able to get this one at a discounted price, but let them sort that out first. Uh, otherwise, you can just buy it at 9 .99. It's on, Like I said, it's on sale at the moment, 32% off. So, Top job, cool beans. I hope you enjoyed the demo. Um, and yeah, if you, if you enjoyed it, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Please consider becoming a patron. It really helps support. We can't, can't survive without the support of the community. So... Yes, yes, it's important stuff. Um, thank you very, 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 very much for watching. And I will see you guys later. Ta-ta.